The Irish love their golf. It's my favorite place in the world to play golf. I think it's long overdue that the Open Championship has made its way back to Royal Portrush. Let's jump into that now, but before we do, here's actually Bob with some more on the venue that is Royal Portrush. The last time the Open Championship came to Royal Portrush, Rory McIlroy wasn't born. In fact, his father Jerry wasn't even alive. It was 1951 when the Claret Jug was last presented to the champion golfer of the year in Northern Ireland. That means that this year, when the Open returns to the Dunluce Links, very few players will have much knowledge of the layout. They know the old course and Carnoustie, Muirfield and Troon, but Port Rush? Even the best golfers in the world will have to be fast learners. I've never been up to Port Rush, and I'm looking forward to getting up there and, and taking a look at the golf course. I've never actually been to Ireland. It's one place I've never been, which is shocking. For a few, however, such as McElroy, Port Rush will be as familiar as an old sweater, and they're relishing the opportunity to put their years of experience on one of the world's greatest golf courses to good use. I guess a dream come true for me. I never thought that I was going to be able to play an Open Championship at home. No one in the field has played more rounds at Port Rush than Graham McDowell, who grew up in the town and has played more golf there than anywhere else. The Open Championship going back to Port Rush is going to be really cool. It's going to be well supported. The Open is golf's world championship, perhaps its grandest stage. This time, that stage is firmly set in Northern Ireland on one of golf's greatest courses. Will it be handled by a newcomer or one of the familiar faces? The Claret Jug awaits.